Today in another episode, Know Your Criminal in Taliban. I'm here to expose to you our current MLA, Jennifer Montserrat. We have all seen her criminal record been displayed on the front page of the newspaper. I've seen it. Have you? But today I'm here to talk about something that we have all forgotten and what I need to remind you about and what no one is talking about. Have you all received her manifesto? Let us go flashback. In 2017, what she had promised the people. There are four key points which I want to talk about. And let's start. In her 2017 manifesto, she has promised a state-of-the-art healthcare center where free medicines, free checkup, an attached blood donation center with blood bank. Have you seen it till date? Five years. I have roamed all over Taligaon. I have still not located it. If you have found it, please let me know. Let's go to the second point. Behind me is the Taligaon market. In a 2017 manifesto, she had promised the people of Taligaon that she will have a grand market complex set up for people. She has also stated in her manifesto that GSIDC has already sanctioned the project plan. The land has been acquired and they are awaiting to start the project. Five years have gone by. Have you seen the grand market complex? I have not. Now let's go to the third point. In her 2017 manifesto, this area was proposed as a park and free Wi-Fi. But now all that you can see is debris and you can see cows who are utilizing this place. There were benches earlier. There was a children's park. And I personally got my son over here to play. But then all the equipment of the park was taken out somewhere else and till now it has not been replaced. Is it so difficult for you to do a children's park over here so that the people can benefit? Another promise of hers which has not been fulfilled. Everyone in the Taliga constituency know the place that I'm standing on. I have the St. Michael's Church onto my right, the cemetery onto my left and behind me was actually a proposed joggers park on her 2017 manifesto and now you can suddenly see that a big construction has come up a commercial one now when anyone is planning a joggers park you have to either acquire the land or you have to put a proposal for acquiring the land but suddenly from nowhere this construction has come up so people of Talika have been promised a joggers park over here. We are still awaiting for the joggers park. What is even more shocking is that public utility spaces have been sold off to big builders and farmlands that the farmers have been ploughing have been acquired for the public utility projects and also the sewage treatment plant which is under construction in a low-lying field. In the last five years, the double engine growth of the Monsanto family is where they built and they commissioned two hotels under their names in Talikao. They have put up this board which says, I love Talikao. But frankly speaking, it should be replaced with, I sold Talikao. Requesting all the Talikao cars to wake up now and show these people the dough.